Washing, washing my smelly running shorts by hand. Sign of the commitment to the cause. Putting a stack of flatbreads together for Andy's Ramsey round attempt. Pretty much finding anything in the kitchen that can shove in it. So far, cheese and hummus has been yeah filling of choice. Treat Danny, absolute treat. So it's 11 a.m. on. Friday the 14th of June and we've got support team here prepping some feed, the bacon rashers, sweet potatoes going in the oven. Some further preparations being made for carbs. Several different carbs here. Absolute disarray in the kitchen. Precautionary icing going on here. Carbo loading. Cheese it up, baby. Deliver the cheese to me. Head preparation. <laughs> Legs might be a bit chilly. So what are you hoping to carry yourself? Go off stop and kind of cut across lower down and climb up to the low point on that Devil's Ridge, I think. <laughs> Bit of porridge on the go here. And how early is it? It's uh, 0, 0, 0038 at the moment. Mm. And T minus 22 minutes until the start. How do you feel? Well, it's 12.30 in the morning. <laughs> That's a best of luck to you. T minus one minute. Thank you very much. Four, three, two, one. See you later. Go! Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> right, Andy, tell me about your short situation. Well, they're a little bit tight and uh, minimalist, resulting in in cold cock syndrome. So I've had to relocate the bath down to the lower regions for insulation. Somewhere in the cloud. Twelve minutes past three and we're on our way to the Devil's Ridge and my the system is filling up the water bottles. Grizzly. Just thought since we could weren't inside a cloud for a second. Can't look around. See what's going on? One of them, I think. I hope. It's 
6 or 7 in the morning. It's not Andy off at 1. Um, got up at 4.30 to feed the pacer for the second leg. It's behind me, heading up for the first transition point. Um, hopefully we'll get there plenty of time. Slightly bad line off Binny and Moore. Ended up in some bigger scree stuff. We recovered. Yeah. And we're probably about 15 minutes up on the 21 hour schedule, so going very well. And just about keeping warm enough for myself. I don't know about you. Just about. I'm yeah, verging on chilly. Up the top, Binny and Beg. First signs of sunshine today over towards T1. Tinderly looking at my spirits. So we're 6 hours and 35 into the Ramsey's round and just coming up Skull the Moor, the last peak before T1, where hopefully there'll be people waiting with hot tea. <laughs> oh dear, this is awkward. It's popped out the cloud. We've got a great Easter. Just got a visual on Mika and Goddard. Good position. Tindley's not far behind. And hoping to get down for 8.15, 8.02 now, and 8.15 will see us on 21 hour pace, which should be high deal. Transition point one, after 10k and 400 meter cycle in, uh, we've just seen Andy on the horizon, flying down the hill. <laughs> Man, very much. Look at that, creaming up with a sunshine leg. <laughs> Got the round. Oh, it's I think we've got um, a yogurt, blueberry, and shreddy combo here. Mm, nice. Oh, cheers, cheers, cheers. Top hydration. Well, time, we're at nine o'clock. Got some electrolytes. Nine o'clock. And we just crossed the bridge to Tree. And it's a beautiful morning. Looking really nice. Things have cleared up very nicely compared to this morning. And feeling good. And uh, Goddard carrying the load like the mule he is. Good to see. Check out that runny spit. <laughs> Super legit wood with treasures. Mm -hmm. They are the most hideous things in the world. Put some miles between myself and Goddard. Went to fill up some water bottles and uh, yet to be seen. Hopefully not fall in the river. Conditions set fair for the afternoon, I think. A bit of cloud on the tops, but nice and cool. Got a lot of standard over his gilet for me, so I'm keeping it tasty warm. And I got my stylish neoprene skull cap on as well. So, looking the part as well as feeling the part. Feeling, feeling good. Had a slight blip on the way up, I think, but. I think we're about to come across. First deep landing simulator. Here we are. T2 point committee waiting for Andrew. Imbibing soup. It's raining at T2, so there's a tarp being set up. Ready to shelter people. Here they are! They're arriving! This is the coffee. Hi! Hi! Give it. 
That safe is officially juggable. Maybe. <laughs> Enjoy. Steady. And he chose the hardest way, Aaron's upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> and off they go. Bacon and potatoes going down quite well actually. Give a little Haribo starter. So we've gained another um, three minutes, I think. Three. I think so. What do you know if I see Nicholas? Oh, it's rising up. Da. come out and we're on our way down to the climb up to Anik Beg 26 and uh, 10 a.m. sorry 10 p.m. arrival is required for a sub 21 which at this point seems eminently doable this is what it's all about folks enjoying the spectacular vista of the gully up to and I beg to enjoy the cheese and lettuce wrap. The steepest day. No, not the steepest day. Does it make sense? The steepest <laughs> climb of the day. The steepest climb of the day comes 50 miles in. in the murk and for completeness I'm going to touch the stone at the top I think oh. eh. there it is CMD oh we're really closing this one out <laughs> shortly I think looking over towards the last big climb up to CMD Carmel Diag and Aaron's going to show us some of the descending skills. We're at top 22nd one row of the day. Can more Diag. Hoping to see the Ben pop out of the cloud any moment. Not optimistic. Oh, shortcut path. Yeah. Beautiful evening to be traversing the CMD Arete. No? Slash. Going around the side off. Because it's quicker. Final climb. Today 
today's high point comes after 54 miles at 13.44 meters. It's Ben Nevis. Beautiful. Get run to the finish line. We're done, sir. <laughs> Chat. Yeah, well done. Well done. Very well done, sir. <laughs> Very well done. Exceptional facing. Anyone want to get an image? Yeah. Yeah, should we get a photo in front of the site? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah get a... Excuse me. Can you come and take a picture for me? I massaged these feet earlier. <laughs>